What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Paul Neela here and on this episode of What Runners Eat, we are going to be diving into a cauliflower and we're going to be making steaks out of this. Let's get at it. Alright guys, vegan steaks. Do they exist? Are they real? And can you make it? Well, yes, technically you can with cauliflower. And so, joking aside here, this video is going to be a step-by-step -step guide to how you guys can make a cauliflower steak. It is amazing, guys. I've made this a few times before, and so I can tell you guys right up front that this is amazing. This is completely vegan. Everything we're going to be using here is going to be vegan safe. Even the butter we're going to be using is a plant-based butter. Alright guys, so to begin with this cauliflower steak, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting rid of this green leafy part. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of this really quick. This is always something you want to be really careful with because a wrong slip here, you lose a finger. And as you can see here, right in the middle, we have the stem. This is what's going to be keeping the cauliflower together. So first chop is going to be right down the middle. As I mentioned before, the stem is going to be what's holding the cauliflower part together as to kind of hold this shape as one steak here. Now, the size of the cauliflower won't be using here in this particular steak recipe, but don't throw those away. Set them aside, you can use them for something else. What I'm going to do here is about inch, inch and a half wide. And there we have it. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. We're going to chop our other steak here. And there's number two. All right, so now for the seasoning of the cauliflower steaks. Everything is going to be really basic here. Kosher salt, fresh ground pepper, rosemary, thyme, the plant-based butter I mentioned before, and freshly sliced garlic. When it comes to getting the seasonings to stick onto the cauliflower steaks, just going to be lightly spraying this with avocado oil. You can use something very similar, but I like to use avocado oil because it handles heat very, very well. And then salt, ground pepper, rosemary, thyme. And what we're doing here is we're just generously seasoning both steaks. We're gonna do each side here. You want to season your cauliflower steaks really well because you're gonna lose about a third of the seasonings during a cooking process. That's what we're looking for right there. As you can see, different seasonings. You can see the cracked pepper, the rosemary, thyme. All right, we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna repeat the process. Kosher salt. The final ingredient that we're going to be preparing for this is going to be a fresh bulb of garlic. Now some people have opted to use garlic salt in this stage of the recipe, which is fine to do. I prefer a freshly sliced garlic. I just think the taste is just so much more. Try to get fresh bulbs of garlic if you can. We're all done here. We have our two cauliflower steaks. We have our prepared sliced garlic and then we have our plant-based butter. Let's get it on the heat, shall we? All right guys, what we're going to be doing here is starting off with a medium high heat pan. We're going to add our butter, cauliflower steaks, and our sliced garlic. And we're going to add a little bit more butter to base the cauliflower steaks and add a little bit more nutty flavor. We're going to do this for about five to seven minutes to which we're going to flip over and repeat the basting process for about another five to seven minutes. This is about what we're looking for is a nice crisp golden brown on the outside. We're going to pull out the pan and let it rest for at least five minutes. Cooking is done. Everything looks great. Smells incredible. The reason why this is such a great alternative for runners is because there is a portion of the running community that is either vegetarian or vegan. And they're looking for something else that can be a great meal. So a cauliflower steak is a fantastic option for a main meal. This can also even serve great as a side dish. If you do a protein such as chicken or beef or even a fish, this serves as a great alternative for steamed vegetables or a sauteed vegetable or roasted vegetables. We see that so many times here. Give that a try. But this is something that you can use. This is very easy to make. This didn't take long. It also can be awesome just by itself. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's see how it tastes. Here we have it, the cauliflower steak, a great alternative to a regular steak or steamed or sauteed or roasted vegetables as a side dish. Bon appetit. Okay guys, it's incredible. I have made this a few times before, so I was expecting it to taste just like this, but guys, it is awesome. It tastes so incredible. Together, it took about 15 to 20 minutes to make. 
So that is it guys. That is it. That is the cauliflower steaks. That is going to be how you make it step by step. And so if you've tried this before, let me know in the comments down below what you think, what you thought. Have you tried something different? Have you tried variations to put your own spin on it? Let me know what you've done in the comments below. But until then guys, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And guys, we'll see you at the next episode of What Runners Eat. You take care guys. Have a great night.